Are you ready? Welcome to Adams Cable High School Football. Today from Carbondale, it's the Montrose Meteors versus the Carbondale Area Chargers in a Lackawanna Football Conference Division III matchup brought to you by Adams Cable Service, Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, Nick's Excavating and Paving, Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Bestons Auto Body and Collision Center, McGovern Insurance Agency, Tonkin Auto Supply, your Napa Auto Parts Store, NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield, by the White's Crossing Sports Shop, Dominic's Pizza, Tom's Floor Shop, Main Street Childs, and the starting lineups for today's game are presented by Roselle Department Store in Carbondale. Welcome to the Adams Cable High School Football Pre-Game Show. Along with Glenn Muskowski, I'm Steve Young. Great to have you on board tonight as we kick off week number eight with action between Montrose and Carbondale area. Glenn, the Chargers are coming off of a win against Holy Cross. They're looking to make it two in a row. Well, it's, it's going to be a, a mirror image of two teams, Steve. Both struggling to score points and giving up a lot of points. Uh, Carbondale did score a lot of points in, the, in their game against Holy Cross last week. And so did Montrose. They got beat. So I think momentum defensively might be the key in this game. Well, Montrose played pretty well in their game last week against Mid-Valley. They're looking for a good performance here tonight and try to pick up a win. Well, you know, there's a lot of expectations for these teams early in the season. that didn't, It didn't happen, so whoever gets the momentum early could go a long way saying who's going to win this game tonight. It should be a good one. Well, it's a clear, cool night here in the Pioneer City. A great night for football, and we have all of the action coming up after this timeout on Adams Cable High School Football. Nick's Excavating and Paving of Carbondale is committed to providing professional service in residential and commercial excavating, land clearing and demolition, foundations, driveways, sidewalks, and utility lines. Enhance your property with new paving and steel coating, mulch, or stone. For expert service on your next project, count on Nick's Excavating and Paving Carbondale. Tonkin Auto Supply, your Napa dealer in Carbondale, has been serving the area for over 36 years with the largest inventory of automotive replacement parts and accessories. Experience Napa know-how with knowledgeable customer service from Glenn Garth and the staff at Tonkin Auto Supply in Carbondale, your Napa know-how folks. A trip to Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale means you get confidence and peace of mind knowing that your vehicle is repaired by qualified technicians. Jerry's offers brand name tires and wheel alignment, brake service, oil changes, computer diagnostics, and Pennsylvania safety inspection and emissions testing. Call 282-TIRE or visit their website jerrystire at gmail.com. For dependable, efficient service, visit Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Before or after the game, enjoy pizza from Dominic's Pizza with locations on Main Street, Carbondale, and Washington Avenue in German. Their many varieties of delicious pizza means there's always an old favorite or a new tasty treat. Check out their menu of favorites including subs, hot wings, chicken parm, stromboli, cheese steaks, and much more. Order by calling Dominic's Pizza in Carbondale at 570-282-5128 or Dominic's in German at 570-876-5858 with delivery service available. For the best pizza, wings, classic subs, and more, visit Dominic's Pizza of Carbondale in German. We're here with head coach Larry Gabriel, the Carbondale Area Chargers. Coach, you, uh, you broke loose a little bit against Holy Cross last week, put 35 points on the board. What are we looking for tonight against Montrose, who's struggling a little bit in basically the same way you were in a, in, throughout most of the year? Uh, we just preach to our offense. We're looking for consecutive positive plays. We can't have a play that sets us back with a penalty uh, or a missed blocking assignment. Uh, we feel we're a decent offense when we stay on schedule with play calling. 
uh, negative plays we have to eliminate. Uh, defensively, we're just looking to stop the run. We've had trouble with that for throughout the entire season. And with Montrose being an option football team, we feel we have to take the dive away from them to start, and then things will go our way if we could do that. Now, uh, you have two games left after this. I'm sure you have a plan for like these last two games. What are we going to look forward to for the, in the last two games to build on for next year? Well, we talk to our seniors about uh, getting the job done when they're out there. Um, we've started to limit some of the seniors uh, to one-way contributions to get some younger guys a little bit additional uh, playing experience before next year. We wanted some guys that are younger guys to start the game. That way, when next year rolls around, it's not the first time they were called a starter. So we're just trying to get some younger guys out there to feel like they're contributing to meaningful minutes early in the game. Well, I'll tell you what, Montrose, you had a tough one at Montrose last year, so I'm sure they'll be ready for you. But uh, I, I think momentum is going to be a big thing in this game. That's going to be whoever makes the least amount of mistakes. I guess win. so. Good luck. Yep. There's some cool new stuff out there. Cars that drive themselves. Phones that talk to us. There's a cafe behind you. And now TV everywhere. That's right, Lucky Adams Cable Service customer. Now you can watch channels from your TV package just about anywhere on just about any device. Catch your favorites in the waiting room, coffee shop, break room, the airport, wherever. TV everywhere. It's a cool extra service for no extra cost. Visit AdamsCable.com and sign up today. The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. They carry a full line of archery accessories, hunting and reloading supplies, live bait, and a variety of fishing tackle. The White's Crossing Sports Shop is open seven days a week, from 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. Call 282-4699 or log on to their website at whitescrossing.com. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team in NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield, online at NJSCO.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. We're here with head coach of Montrose Meteors, Eric, Eric Nichols. Coach, you're struggling a little bit, but yeah, last week you put about 28 points on the board against a good Mid-Valley team. What can we look for tonight against Carbondale, and what do you, you think your keys are to winning the game tonight? Uh, first thing, we got to take care of the football. I mean, we, we put the ball on the ground three times last week, and that really took momentum away from us, um, especially in the second half against Mid Valley. Um, you know, we're just going to continue to run our offense and our system. Um, wins and losses haven't shown improvement, um, but if you look at the scores, you know, um, you know, we've made some improvements this year. Record-wise, we haven't. Um, you know, this, this program has a lot of work it needs to get it turned around. Uh, I believe in our kids and our families and. It's going to take some time, but uh, we're going to accomplish well, that. Well, Montrose has got a, a, they're pretty proud people up there. You'll, you'll do that. I'm sure you will. Uh, now, to, for, to, for uh, they're like against Carbondale today, you're going to have to, I think it's my opinion, you, it, I think momentum's going to take a, the key. Who, who stops who, who makes less mistakes, and uh, what kind of offense uh, is a successful? Yeah, um, momentum is huge, uh, especially in teams that are they're struggling a little bit this year as well. Um, you know, if, if somebody gets out to a quick lead and, you know, more than a couple touchdowns, I think that could determine the game. Well, we, we expect a good one, and uh, hopefully you can come out on top. I, I appreciate it. We hope so, too. Thank you for your time. Take care. Yep. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. 
The Gabriel family and the staff at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated of Carbondale send best wishes to our local athletes and teams for a successful season. In your time of need, call 282-1219 for the ultimate in professional service from Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale. Enjoy the feel of deep, rich luxury. Get the drama of radiant color and experience the timeless beauty, comfort, and durability of carpeting from Tom's Floor Shop and Childs. Tom's Floor Shop offers a large selection of hardwood, laminate, vinyl, ceramic tile, and carpeting on display in their showroom. Rely on Tom's Floor Shop for expert installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop. Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. When your car does this. Call us first. Every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. That's the motto at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale. In an accident, remember, it is your car and your choice to choose your repair center. Call Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale, well known for integrity, safety, and craftsmanship. For more information concerning your rights and the 10 things you need to know before having your car repaired, go to their website, bestinsautobody.com. Good luck to all area teams. From Tony, Mike, Jeff, and the staff at Bestins Auto Body and Collision Center, Gordon Avenue, Carbondale. And now the starting lineups for today's game presented by Roselle Department Store in Carbondale, your school uniform headquarters for Carbondale area, Lakeland, Forest City, LaSalle Academy, Holy Cross, Valley View, and Mid Valley. In addition to prompt laundry and dry cleaning services, check out the hot new styles of fall apparel all on display at Roselle and Carbondale. If you're going to a formal affair or special occasion, let the experience of Sam Calura work for you with a perfectly tailored tuxedo by Sarno and son. For unsurpassed quality style and value, rely on Roselle Department Store in Carbondale, where Sam and the staff are proud to present your starting lineups for today's game following our national anthem. All right, well, we have a moment. The officials, referee Paul Sheehan, umpire Joe Shaughnessy. Well, we should have the uh, judge, national Dowell, anthem in just a moment. Judge Field judge Dennis Crowley, James Derek Fazard. The Montrose Meteors are coached by Eric Nichols, assisted by A.J. McKenna, Joshua Bell, Sal Gatto, Mark Tibbs, and Steve Miller. So we're just about set for high school football this here. Way, ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand? And now, our national anthem at the Andrew J. Serra Sports Complex in Carbondale. National anthem performed by the Carmel Area School Band, directed by Mr. Chris Schuster. National Anthem by the Carbondale Area Band. And now your starting lineups for today's game presented by Roselle Department Store in Carbondale for the Montrose Meteors who will get the football. 
At wide receiver, Zoe Castleberry, a senior at 5'9", 165. At the other receiver, it is R.J. Arnold, a 6'170", pound senior. Gabriel Klein lines up at left tackle, a sophomore at 6'4", and 270. Devin Nash at right tackle, a senior, 6'3", and 210 pounds. Jerry Fassett will anchor left guard, a 6'1", 250 pound junior. At right guard is Caleb Fruhan, a 6'2", 190 pound junior. And Seth Buckley lines up at center, a junior, six foot and 190 pounds. Maverick Timms will quarterback the Montrose offense. He's a junior, 5'9 and 150 pounds. Tyler Dovin at fullback, a junior, 5'7 and 170. John Herman at the wingback spot tonight, 5'10", 160 pounds and a junior. And Nate Giles will line up at flanker, a 5'8", 160 pound junior. Carbondale area defensively, Noah Yates at strong safety along with Marcus Ortiz, Sean Tate and Fred Stinnard along with Darren Ingram across the line. The linebackers are Frank Burke, Dominic Gelati and Steve Martin, Tyler Scott at the strong corner, Nick Videla at the weak side corner and Adam Rossetti will line up at free safety. Kicking off for Carbondale area is Dominic Gelati, and here we go. We are underway with week eight of Adams Cable High School football. From the 20-yard line, Zoe Castlebury takes the football, breaks a tackle, comes out across the 40-yard line, and then is gang tackled by a host of Carbondale area defenders at the Montrose 41-yard line. Good uh, run back by Castleberry. Was stopped twice uh, uh, right around the 30-yard line. Broke free for another 11 yards. So a good start for Montrose as they will commence their first drive from the 41-yard line, their own 41. Great night for high school football here in Carbondale. Cool weather, big full moon that came up over the mountain about uh, 45 minutes ago. And... Montrose will come to the line of scrimmage. Like I said, I feel there's a full moon always in Carbondale. <laughs> yeah, every time it, it seems is. like every time we're here, a full moon and a crazy game, right, Nick? That's right. <laughs> and Montrose will go with the ground game, and they advance the football to the 45-yard line for a gain of four. And getting the call that time was fullback Tyler Dovin. He's a 5'7", 170-pound junior. Montrose is coached by Eric Nichols in his first year. They have scored 116 points while allowing 230, averaging about uh, 16 and a half points a ball game. That is sixth in Division Three. Of course, Dunmore leads the division in scoring. Second down and six for the Meteors from their their own 45-yard line, and they'll go with the running game once again, straight up the middle. Hands off the dome for. Short game. You know, your your, your your defense really has to be disciplined in an offense. Uh, facing a, an option offense like this, you know, dive back is really what runs this whole thing. Well, you know, it's 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 a tough one to defend, I think. And a little, well, it's it's tougher than normal, I would say, because you have to know where that ball. You have to stay in and stay in your and run your keys. Yeah, you have to run your keys. Your ends can't. You know, they're going to option the ends, um, but your linebackers have to. Uh, you know, have to be disciplined, and so do your corners, because they have to have run support as well. Third down and four, and the handoff will go straight up the god, and Montrose will pick up a first down on this running play. It's just really just a wall of uh, of white going forward. Colin Mondi, four or five yeah. yards at a, at a clip here. Yeah, that was Colin Mondi getting the call. A senior at six foot three and two hundred fifteen pounds. And right now, they're moving the ball well against this Carbondale defense that has uh, given up 26 points per game. Well, you heard Coach yeah. Nichols say it. They have no trouble moving the ball. It's just they shoot the turnovers the and, the, yeah. and the mental mistakes. That's, yeah. That happens. I mean, it's just, it's just things you go through as a team. First down and 10 and flags on this play. Well, Lou Sella last year guided Montrose to a great start, their best since the 1998 season when they got off to that 4-1 and one finish, uh, mark. The Montrose Meteors finished the second half at 1-4 and four, but had the most wins in a season in eight years. Boy, they had a great year last year, and uh, Sella really had the team going. He was the legend the, uh, Lou Sella. Yeah, he was, he <laughs> he was, was a great a good guy. interview, I'll tell you. Yeah, that he was, was a great interview. <laughs> made your job easy, Glenn. <laughs> 
He was the uh, third coach for Montrose since Tom Lucenti resigned following the 2005 seasons. He had a great uh, record after winning 110 games in 19 seasons for Montrose. First down and 15, handoff will go to Nate Giles. And Giles advances the football against the Charger defense. Coach Lucenti had a good run at Montrose. He, he sure did. He also had the luxury of a future yeah. NFL uh, a future NFL player on his team named Chris Snee. Well, yeah. Yeah, not not big enough and not strong enough to play locally, so he went to Boston College. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Somebody missed the ball on that one. Wow, for sure. Second down and nine for Montrose from the Carbondale 42-yard line. And they'll go with the running game once again, and that is Colin Mundy with the football for another. Well, let's check the spot. I believe they have the first down at the Charger 32. They are just eating up yardage here. Well, that's what Montrose was known for when Tom Lucenti was uh, head coach, guys. They would just run that power football. They the were coming right at you. Power football to the T, too. I mean, they had their backs were maybe within a yard of each other. I mean, they would run like a power eye, but I mean, the quarterback would get down. I mean, he's only about five foot two, and I'm not kidding when I say that. And they just ran it to perfection. And that's all they did. They didn't pass the ball at all. And here is Colin Mundy with the football once again. And he hammers inside the Carbondale 20 to about the 17-yard line. Just about four minutes gone by first quarter. It is a scoreless football game between Montrose and Carbondale. But Montrose is on the move with a new set of downs deep in Charger territory operating from about the 16-yard uh, line. First down and 10. Well, this is just too easy for Montrose. This is this Carbondale's got to tighten up here on defensive end, do something to stop this. And they already got the drive. They have already had the ball for over four minutes in this drive. Maverick Timms, number 28, will set them down at the line of scrimmage, and Timms will keep the football, and then he's wrapped up as he tried to go off right tackle. Was on the keeper, met by number yeah, picked 20, up four Tyler yards. Scott. Tyler Scott yeah, wrapped him up the strong side corner for the Carbondale defense. A gain of three on the last play. Well, you know, guys, Montrose has a pretty big offensive line, and Klein is at 270, Facet is at 250, Devin Nash on that right side, 210, and right now they are winning the battle at the line of scrimmage. Now they got some big boys up front, and I'll tell you what they did. They didn't go in for the pregame. They stayed out there and practiced. And it is... Colin Mondy going off the right side, disappears in a sea of red shirts from Carbondale as the Montrose Meteors will work now from the 10-yard line. Third down and about four yards to go. 6.45 to play here in the first. It is a scoreless ball game between the Chargers and the Meteors. Great to have you on board tonight for Adams Cable High School football. And Seth Buckley will lead Montrose to the line of scrimmage. Junior quarterback Maverick Timms will await the snap. Timms on a quick handoff, and that is Mundy wrapped up. And his forward progress takes him to about the, oh, we'll check it. I think he picked up about him. two yards, Steve. Mark I, think, it at the eight. I think it is fourth and two. Fourth and a long, the short two, baby. Give him a decent spot there. I agree with you, but I think your prescription of your glasses is right on. <laughs> hey, hey no, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> Listen. No, I'm teasing, but no, it's about a long two, right? Fourth and two for Montrose from the Big Carbondale Big play for Carbondale's line. defense now. As Tims will call out the signals. Tims oh. guy may have got someone to move. The flags came out. Uh, and we'll wait for shoot the yourself to in the foot. Over. Five-yard penalty result. Uh, Coach Nichols has to be thrilled with a play like that. Could have just been like a no play, even called it a huddle, but still good discipline by Montrose. Got Carbondale nap in there and uh, picked up a free first down. So Montrose, with the benefit of the penalty, new set of downs, first and goal from, let's check the spot, from the Carbondale three-yard line. And Tims will step up under center. Tims 
handing off, buried on the play. He was handing it off to John Herman, and Herman got whacked behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. Guys, did that just seem like a little busted play there? Yeah, it, it was. Didn't seem like everybody was even set. Yeah, it seems like this, the ball came and nobody was ready. It was like a quick count, but I didn't yeah. think the line they got in a stance. <laughs> So right now, the Montrose Meteors, losing yardage, will face second down and nine with under five minutes remaining here in the first quarter in a scoreless ball game. Junior quarterback, Maverick Timms, will take the snap, and Timms will keep it and is wrapped up as he's dropped near the six-yard line. Boy, he read that perfectly because there was nothing for uh, Mondi on that. They, they had... Knocked the heck out of him. He picked up, uh, what, Tim's pick up about three, four yards yeah, there? He... Got it down to about the six. Third and goal for the Meteors. Guys, how many plays drive is this? This is, this is going to be the 12th. 12th play drive, I mean, like we said, about the time of possession. I mean, geez. Yeah, Montrose is uh, very methodically moving downfield. Third down and goal from the six for Montrose. Mon uh, man in motion, that is Mondi, looking to turn it around the right side, looking for the end zone. Touchdown! A six-yard touchdown for Colin Mondi, and Montrose moves downfield and takes control, and they jump out to a 6 nothing advantage over the Chargers. Well, that was a well-executed drive by the Montrose offense. Well, I'll tell you what, it was, it was a very methodical, well-planned out uh, Series uh, on the Mount Rose side there. Well, they just kept matriculating that ball down the field. <laughs> <laughs> and now Chris Lewis will try for the extra point out of the hold of Tim's. Lewis, seven extra points on the season, and there's no doubt about this one. As Montrose jumps out to a 7 nothing lead over Carbondale on Adams Cable High School football. When your car does this. Call us first. Every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. That's the motto at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale. In an accident, remember, it is your car and your choice to choose your repair center. Call Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale, well known for integrity, safety, and craftsmanship. For more information concerning your rights and the 10 things you need to know before having your car repaired, go to their website, bestinsautobody.com. Good luck to all area teams. From Tony, Mike, Jeff, and the staff at Bestins Auto Body and Collision Center, Gordon Avenue, Carbondale. Back to the gridiron for more Adams Cable High School football. Montrose leading Carbondale 7-0 on a long time consuming drive. Chris Lewis will kick it off. Line drive shot that will bounce and be picked up at about the 15 yard line and on the return for Carbondale area, Adam Rossetti and the Chargers with three minutes and 54 seconds remaining here in the first will get their first offensive plays of the evening. Well, uh, Nick, Mott Rose was two seconds shy of running the ball, for, having the ball in their possession for eight minutes. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a coach's dream. I mean, if you can do that all game, I mean, you're going to have a lot of success. Out of the huddle come the Chargers, led by center Andrew Larson. We'll run down the uh, Carbondale offense for you in just a moment. Brought to you by Roselle Department Store. Ortiz will go in motion. This is a sweep around the left side. And they pick up some good yardage. The Chargers first off of the play of the game. Tolerico keeps it. Goes around the left side. Carbondale area offense brought to you by Roselle Department Store in Carbondale. Marcus Ortiz at tight end. At split end, Adam Rossetti. Sean Connolly at left tackle. Seth Arthur at right tackle. Kevin Kelly lines up at left guard. Reese Fuchs at right guard. And, of course, Larson at center. Jordan Tolerico will quarterback the Carbondale offense. Dominic Gelati lines up at fullback. And Jason Jablonowski at tailback, Noah Yates will line up at flanker. Seven-yard gain on the last play, second and three for the Chargers. 
And Ortiz in motion. Tallarico on a late pitch. And this is Jablonowski hemmed in, tries to turn it upfield, and then runs out of bounds in front of the Carbondale bench. But uh, he'll be close to a first down. He might have it. I think I think, I think there was uh, uh, illegal procedure. Yeah. You would think, especially with multiple shifts there. As the officials will talk things over, and the uh, penalty is on Carbondale. Well, not the way you want to get going here tonight as uh, Montrose has a 7 nothing lead with 332. I, I was wondering what they would, I mean, I thought he was set though, guys. I thought, I thought the running back was moving before the ball was snapped. I, I, that's uh, I, I that's was a little, I was kind of watching the, the, the shift and the so motion, that's, man. But. Nice play designed by the Chargers, gives him a first down. Tallarico will check in with the play from head coach Larry Gabriel III. The Chargers are averaging about 16 points a ball game. That is eighth in Division Three, behind number one Dunmore. First down and 10, Carbondale from its own 43, trailing 7 nothing here in the first quarter. Jablonowski takes the handoff, and there he goes around the left side. Jablonowski may go all the way. It's a foot race, and Jablonowski will take it in for the touchdown. 57 yards. Wow, what a run. Again, what, what, there's no substitute for speed. No, it's something he can't coach. <laughs> Jablonowski found a seam along that far sideline, and Carbondale now trails by a point, seven to six. Okay, so we had an eight-minute drive. And what? And a, and a, a 30 40 second drive. And a 30 second drive. <laughs> well, Nick, we talked about it. There's a full moon here tonight, and we expect a wild uh, ball I game. I expected nothing less. <laughs> Bobby usually Morgan. When, yeah, usually what I do explain, <laughs> expect that nothing happens. Oh, oh, hit the upright. How about that? The, the extra point <laughs> attempt by Morgan hits the upright. <laughs> uh. Montrose 7, Carbondale 6 as we go to a break on Adams Cable High School Football. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Welcome back to the Andrew J. Sarah Sports Complex in Carbondale alongside Glenn Muskowski, Nick Homick, and producer Anthony Cook. Steve Young here. Great to have you on board tonight as uh, Montrose holds a one-point lead over Carbondale, 7-6 to six, with 3.20 left to play here in the first. The extra point attempt on the touchdown by Bobby Morgan hit the left upright. You know, Nick, that, that goal post thing, you know, you just never know. I mean, how about... You probably could try 100 times to hit the thing you can't You couldn't do it. <laughs> but when you don't want to hit it, you hit it. Dominic Gelati with a high end-over-end -end kick. Oh. Oh, and at the 23-yard mm, line, a, break. a collision and a big break for Carbondale as Zoe Castlebury collided with his own player. As John uh, Herman was awaiting the uh, that's kickoff. Where, no communication there, boys. Yeah, there's there should be one one of the deep men should be the designated call guy. Yeah, well it, there you go. It's it's usually that way when you have two returners on a punt. You know, even if you have, you could have three returners back on a kickoff, one guy should be the you know he's like the center fielder in baseball. Well, let's see what Carbonell can do to stop this uh, power game of Montrose. Nick, you ever get the feeling that we're in for a crazy game here tonight? Yes, well, you said it before. <laughs> the first down and 10 for Montrose from its own 24. Here we go. And there goes Tims. And Tims may go all the way. Larson Man, nobody giving catch chase, him. and they're not going to get him. Maybe they will. He oh, breaks he the play to the goal oh. line. <laughs> wow. He, how, uh, how about that? <laughs> Frank Burke got him near the bump. Wow, that, when did that ball come out? <laughs> Steve, you didn't even get the, are we in for a crazy game? And there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> He's 77 yards. So we've had three scores in a span of less than a minute. 13 to 6, Montrose. In one minute, really, because yeah. it was 4-0-2 when they scored their first touchdown. Unbelievable. This is great. 
<laughs> hey, what would you rather watch? A high scoring game or, you know. Who wants to go watch Mid Valley and Dunmore? <laughs> <laughs> Timeout called by Montrose with three minutes and two seconds. Remaining as the Meteors lead it 13 to 6 on Adams Cable High School Football. Tonkin Auto Supply, your Napa dealer in Carbondale, has been serving the area for over 36 years with the largest inventory of automotive replacement parts and accessories. Experience Napa know-how with knowledgeable customer service from Glenn Garth and the staff at Tonkin Auto Supply in Carbondale. Your Napa know-how folks. The action continues from the 50-yard line with Nick, Glenn, and Steve on Channel 7 High School Football. Welcome back to the Andrew J. Serra Sports Complex in Carbondale, where the Montrose Meteors have scored against the Chargers. They lead it 13-6, to and they took a timeout to talk things over. And they are going to attempt a two-point conversion as Maverick Timms will set them down at the line of scrimmage and Colin Mundy will take the handoff and he goes in for the two-point conversion. Off right tackle and Montrose takes a 15-6 lead over the Meteors as we go to a break. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team in NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield online at njsco.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Back in Carbondale for week 8 of high school football and Montrose leads Carbondale 15 to 6. The Meteors will get the football and tee it up and kick off to Carbondale. Two are deep for the Chargers and that is Adam Rossetti along with Marcos Ortiz. So we've been doing these games for what, 13 years now? It's yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, I it, we haven't had one of these games where it's like you know 65, 64 <laughs> or something. I'm just putting it out there. I mean, <laughs> we've had all kind of games over times, you know, blowouts. This, hey, that, Western this, Wayne and uh, Holy Cross did about uh, seven or eight years <laughs> well, ago, right? Like, you know what the heck? Let's have one. You let's have, have to, like a whack. Once in a while, you have to, right? Yeah, let's have like a whack style game where nobody plays defense. <laughs> 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 Whoever gets the ball last is going to win. Steve Martin. On the uh, kickoff return for the Chargers. You know, like a 150-point, you know, combined game. <laughs> hey, you never know. I mean, uh, two teams, that have, I wish for. Two teams hey. that have struggled <laughs> offensively throughout the season. Sometimes you get a game like this, and it turns out to be the, one of the best games you've had all year. I you know, so. that's happened. It's happened to us in basketball, Nick, remember? Yeah. Yeah, so... From the 30-yard line, Carbondale will go to work offensively. Ortiz in motion, and they'll go with the running game. And they'll advance the football to the 35-yard line, and that was Javlinowski getting the handoff. Nice option to have with uh, speed in the backfield, and uh, sometime in the ball game, I expect to see uh, Dylan Orms, who has great speed, and uh, Nick Videla. Those guys do a good job. And that's your future right there, Dylan Orms and Nick Videla. Second down and five. And the pitch out will go to the near side. It's Jablonowski. Jablonowski across midfield and runs out of bounds. Perfectly timed pitch from Tyrico Jablonowski. Nice game for the Chargers. And they're into Montrose territory at the 45. Well, great to have you on board tonight here on Adams Cable High School Football. And uh, big thanks to uh, the technical staff on the engineering side at Adams Cable. Uh, they've done a good job upgrading our audio. It's our first time with this uh, new audio, and I understand the results are very good. And uh, we thank them for all of their support that they've given us this year as Dominic Gelati will take the handoff and 
drives off right tackle inside the Montrose 40 yard line. Well, it's like one of these games that you might as well not put any, anybody on the defensive side of the field. It's like playing against there. <laughs> as Carbondale picks up good yardage, about a seven yard gain, second down and three for the Chargers, operating from the Montrose 38 yard line. Kind of a sparse crowd here tonight, guys. Uh, I don't know if it's the cooler weather. Well, it turned a lot of people will have away. A lot to say about yeah, that, that's for sure. As Ortiz went in motion, Carbondale will go with the ground game, and they pick up a very important Johnny first down to sustain yep. the drive with a buck thirty to play here in the first quarter, trailing fifteen to six. A lot of kids around here, it's a cut off shirts and shorts. I don't know what the heck is going on around here. I and see that. Yeah. And he's not the first person I saw. Well, and then us old guys. I'm, we're, I'm bundled up in a sweatshirt. And the heat is on And the heat is on here. So, uh, All the comforts of home down there for you guys. Yeah, not for you, though, Nick. No, fortunately. Yeah. Rolling out is Tallarico firing downfield intended for Yates and it's off his fingertips. Uh, I think he waited too long to throw that ball that time. Yates was open for 10 yards coming across. Well, I know they're doing it to keep the defense honest. I get it, but um, you know, unfortunately this year it's just not one of Carbondale's strong suits. You know, they they are a running football team. Well, I mean that was, and there was no reason that that pass wasn't caught. No, I hit him in the, you know, I hit him in the hands. Might have been a little zip, a little zip to it, but you yeah, got to catch those. A little mustard on the ball tonight. Second down and 10 for the Chargers from the Montrose 32. Late pitch will go off the left side to Orms. And Orms, heading for that first down marker, will check where they will spot it. Inside the 25. About nine, I guess. He'll be short of the first down. Dylan Orms, you have to love how he handles the football when he gets it, guys. He's dishes out the punishment when he he's sure does. Hit too. I tell you what, well, one, uh, they have one, like a, a, a three guy uh, power uh, running today with Orms, uh, Jablonowski, and Gelati. Third down and a yard to go, and Gelati looks like he will get the first down and a power run up the gut of the Montrose defense. Defensively yep, for Montrose, down. giving up about 26 points a ball game. It is Seth Buckley at left end, at right end Colin Mundy, Rob Gregory at left tackle, Devin Nash at right tackle, and Bob Welsh playing in his first year of high school football at nose guard. Maverick Timms and Makila Fabrizio are the linebackers. Michael Fabrizio at left corner. Zoe Castlebury at the right corner. Nate Giles at strong safety. And John Herman at free safety. And that's the end of the first quarter of play here in Carbondale as Montrose leads the Chargers 15-6 on Adams Cable High School Football. The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. They carry a full line of archery accessories, hunting and reloading supplies, live bait, and a variety of fishing tackle. The White's Crossing Sports Shop is open seven days a week from 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. Call 282-4699 or log on to their website at whitescrossing.com. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Before or after the game, enjoy pizza from Dominic's Pizza with locations on Main Street, Carbondale and Washington Avenue in German. Their many varieties of delicious pizza means there's always an old favorite or a new tasty treat. Check out their menu of favorites including subs, hot wings, chicken parm, stromboli, cheesesteaks and much more. Order by calling Dominic's Pizza in Carbondale at 570-282-5128 or Dominic's in German at 570-876-5858 with delivery service available. For the best pizza, wings, classic subs, and more, visit Dominic's Pizza of Carbondale in German. During the timeout, Dylan Orms carried the football off the left tackle for a gain of about five. It is second down and five. Carbondale from the Montrose 15-yard line. Opening moments of the second quarter of play. And the Chargers trail Montrose 15-6 as Jordan Tallarico will step up under center. 
Tolerico with a long count, and Tolerico will look to pitch it out to Jablonowski, trying to turn the corner, and Jablonowski runs out of real estate and is out of bounds. Tolerico's pitch to Jablonowski. Looks like it's going to... So Carbondale putting together a pretty good drive in, in a seesaw battle here in the second quarter of play on this Friday night in week number eight of high school football. And the football will be marked at the Montrose five-yard line. First down and goal from that point for the Charger offense. So Carbondale knocking on the door with a minute gone by here in the second quarter. And junior quarterback, Jordan Tolerico, will call out the signals. Tolerico will give it to Gelati, and Gelati barrels into the end zone yep. for a five-yard touchdown. Touchdown, Chargers. Don Gelati up the middle. 15 to 12 as the Chargers answer. And now we'll see if head coach Larry Gabriel will go for two. Well, Nick, both teams get the football. Both teams march right down the field. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> they, you know, they both they both did the exact same things, really. I mean, they had Carbondale, this is their time-consuming drive that Montrose had. They're going for two. Gelati spinning and twisting. He's got the two-point conversion. You know, I, I just, this is going to be one of those games. Whoever has the ball last, I feel, is going to come out the winner. It's Montrose 15, Carbondale 14, as we go to a break on Adams Cable High School Football. Enjoy the feel of deep, rich luxury. Get the drama of radiant color and experience the timeless beauty, comfort, and durability of carpeting from Tom's Floor Shop and Childs. Tom's Floor Shop offers a large selection of hardwood, laminate, vinyl, ceramic tile, and carpeting on display in their showroom. Rely on Tom's Floor Shop for expert installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop. Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. Back at the Andrew J. Sarah Sports Complex in Carbondale. Great to have you with us on this Friday night for Week 8 of Adams Cable High School Football. Dominic Gelati will tee up the football as Carbondale trails Montrose by 1, 15-14 in a high-scoring affair thus far. 10-42 remaining here in the first half. And two are deep for the Montrose return team. John Herman is back there. Castlebury, a dangerous threat. And Dominic Gelati to kick it off for the Chargers. And here's your kick. This is a relatively short kick. It's going to yeah. bounce out of bounds at the 32. Well, they can take it at the 35 or make them kick it again. If I'm on trolls, I'm assuming well, they're just going to take it off. Well, they're just going to take it, and then they'll, they'll maybe they'll just go by, right down and march down the field themselves. Right. <laughs> Free kick out of bounds by Carbondale. The five-yard penalty and a re-kick. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're going to do a well, re-kick. Well, what did they do? They, they would have lost, what, three yards well, on that or something? Because it, it went out on the 38. Did it no, it, it, no matter where it goes out of bounds, you can either have the option to take it at the 35. That's my point. Oh, That's okay. exactly my point, yeah. Because they would have lost. I, I, I think you weren't at the Dunmore game, were you? No, you oh, weren't. No. Nick, no. Uh, Glenn wasn't there. How many times, Nick? Four? Seven. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Seven, Seven times. They kicked off. They were kicking off from, like, I think, the 15-yard line. The 15-yard 15 15 line. <laughs> and at one point, and then I, to this day, I still don't know why they didn't let them kick off the rest of the time. Because he kept just spinning off the tee for some reason. Hey, we'll have Montrose and uh, Lakeland next week. Let's ask uh, Jeff yeah, about I'm, that. I, you know, that's it's not the, something that's the top we never thing got on my mind to, to ask him about, but um, I really do want to know why. Really? So Carbondale now backed up to its own 35, and Gelati will do it once again. Here we go. This one is a good line drive shot, and from... The 25, good return for Montrose as they get it yep. up across the 40-yard line. They, well, they picked up eight yards. Yeah. It ends up working out for them, but... Wait, Gelati drove that ball. <laughs> he was going to kick him. I'll kick him, but... Uh... 
So Montrose will go back on the offensive attack, leading by one, 15 to 14. Well, we had a real quick, just about eight minutes of the first quarter. And then uh, suddenly this game has slowed <laughs> it's down. It's still a, a grinding halt. Yeah. It happens time <laughs> and time again. I don't know what it is. <laughs> From the 43-yard line of Montrose, they will go to work offensively as Tims will step up under center. Tims will go on an inside handoff and pick up a couple of yards right up the gut of the Charger defense. Tim's hands off to number eight, Tyler Dolan. Tyler Dolan, junior at 5'7 and 170 pounds, getting the call. Well, Montrose doesn't throw the ball too much, but when they do, Tim's has completed only 14 of 50 for 253 yards, and they have not thrown for a touchdown. He has not, I should say. Well, if they, if they can run the ball like this, they don't With have to. With that running game, yeah, they don't need to, as uh, this time Tims yeah, right will throw <laughs> right on cue, and this pass is intercepted, picked off by Carbondale. And that is Joe Lee, I believe. Is that 13, Nick? Check that out. Yeah, it is 13. That is Joe Lee yep. picking off the, uh, well, was that? Yes, Joe Lee. Senior, six foot, 140 pounds, comes up with a big interception for the Chargers. Well, whenever Joe Lee has an interception, they win. <laughs> that was a nice play, too. He, 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 it was, he was going away. The ball was, was kind of yeah. like over, over his eye. Reached out, made a nice catch. Yeah, he played. He, Kind of make a basket catch, but uh, he did. He had a he had a pick in the um, the Western Wayne game, and that had good uh, results for them. So Carbondale defensively comes up with a big play, and they will go to work from their own 36-yard line. First down and 10, trailing by one, 15 to 14, with 9:45 to play in the first half. Oh and there's Dominic Gelati wow. taking care of business uh, up to midfield. He looked like a truck just Don running through that line. Well, 15, get it to the 50. Well, First down. Running downhill, Jordan. Nick, and that's a tough assignment mm. to stop a guy like Gelati yeah. coming right at you. That is that is a textbook definition of downhill runner right there. He had, he had 10 yards before anybody even knew it, who had the ball. Yeah, yeah you had 5'8", 205 pounds, and Mr. <laughs> Gelati coming right at you on a Friday and when night. And he, when he hits you both on the offense and defensive end, you're going to feel it. First down and 10, new set of downs from midfield for the Chargers. Pitch to the near side, Jablonowski with room. He's going. Nice cut He's at going. the 25. It's a foot race, and Jablonowski is knocked down near the 10-yard line of Montrose. Big first down run on the pitch by Jason Jablonowski. I, I thought we would be in for like a game, you know. 40-yard run. Uh, but, yeah, I, I thought we'd be in for a game so, similar to this, but I just didn't think we would be in for a track meet like this. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's exciting. There's no doubt about it. 9.05 remaining in the first half. Friday night high school football in Carbondale. The Chargers and Montrose. Meteors lead it 15-14. to 14. Carbondale first down and 10. Our first down and goal, I should say, excuse me, as, oh, Carbondale just couldn't get some footing on that one as yeah, Tolerico lost his footing on the keeper. Tolerico. Must be those gremlins down there. Stumbles on the play and loses <laughs> some yards. Lost about a yard to the 13. Let's check that spot. That yeah, was about three. It's closer. That was close to the 10-yard line. So it is second down and about 12 for Carbondale. Second down I, and I, goal, I should say, I, from the 12. I, I, I think they might be able to get a first down. I'm not sure. No, there's no uh, markers up. No. Nope. Toss play will go to Jablonowski, trying to turn that corner and runs out of room. Flag down, too. Probably coming back. As the officials will get together and talk things holding, over. Holding Carbonell. So this one is coming back. Well, the officials are still trying to sort things Holy out, and now they're well, there it is. The foul. Replay second down. 
Dylan Orms will check into the Carbondale offense, replacing Jablonowski. What 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 is what line of scrimmage is that, now, Steve? I, I mean, Nick, I can't. 20. The 20. Twenty. So they were on a. They were on actually were on, on the thirteen. Inside the ten. Inside. So that that hill that hold occurred well after the, the almost the play was over. Because if they if from the spot of the foul. Right. Right. A ten yard wow. penalty from the spot of the wow. foul. Wow. So. Second down and goal from the 20 for Dylan Orms. And there goes Orms heading for the end zone. And he's got the touchdown. A 20-yard run for the junior tailback Dylan Orms. And Carbondale has taken a 20-15 lead. Dylan Orms with a nice run of 20 yards. Well, he just outran the defenders, guys, and took it into the end zone. <laughs> well, who's not run outrunning the, the, the defenders tonight? <laughs> wow. It's a tough night if you're a defend, dead defensive player. 8-11 remaining in the first half. That's amazing. Carbondale up by five. They'll try for the two-point conversion. And up to the line of scrimmage they come as Tallarico will go to work. Tallarico will hand it off, and Gelati plows into the end zone for two. Tallarico hands off to Gelati. 22-15, Carbondale, your leader with 8-11 remaining in the first half here on Adams Cable High School Football. There's some cool new stuff out there. Cars that drive themselves, phones that talk to us. There's a cafe behind you. And now TV everywhere. That's right, Lucky Adams Cable Service customer. Now you can watch channels from your TV package just about anywhere on just about any device. Catch your favorites in the waiting room, coffee shop, break room, the airport, wherever. TV everywhere. It's a cool extra service for no extra cost. Visit AdamsCable.com and sign up today. A trip to Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale means you get confidence and peace of mind knowing that your vehicle is repaired by qualified technicians. Jerry's offers brand name tires and wheel alignment, brake service, oil changes, computer diagnostics, and Pennsylvania safety inspection and emissions testing. Call 282-TIRE or visit their website jerrystire at gmail.com. For dependable, efficient service, visit Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Dominic Gelati will kick off for Carbondale after the touchdown as the Chargers lead it 22 to 15. Two are deep for Montrose, John Herman and Zoe Castlebury. And here is the kickoff by Gelati. Spinning kick will bounce at the 25. Oh, he's got to be down. Got to be down. He went down as John Herman. Couldn't handle it initially, and his knee touched, and that's where Montrose will start this drive with the football first down and 10. Well, you would assume that Montrose is not going to put the ball in the air anymore. <laughs> I, I, you know, it's just not what they do, of course. And, you know, well, look can't at afford it to turn way. the ball over to Carpenter because you look can't at, stop him. Look at it this way. Eight, 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 seven, uh, seven minutes and 58 seconds, 12 plays. Next time they got the ball, one play for 77 yards. And the next play, time they had the ball, two plays and an interception. Yeah. First down and 10, Montrose from its own 22. Mundy will take the handoff, buried on the play. Nothing there as the Carbondale defense stopped him cold at the line of scrimmage. The only thing you do by not throwing the ball now is you, you know, you start getting a lot more defenders creeping up playing that run. Yeah, you become one-dimensional, right? Yeah, one-dimensional, but, you know. Yeah, one-dimensional in the first period was pretty good. Yeah, but it was. Now, now I've, I've been assuming that uh, Carbondale made some adjustments. Second down and 10 for Montrose. Castlebury is a wide out at the bottom of your screen from the 22-yard line. And this is a keeper by Timms, and he Fumble. lost the football. Let's Car check and see who got it. got it. Carbondale has recovered. Well, that's what head coach Eric Nichols was talking about. They put together some good drives. They get some points, but turnovers and uh, miscues really hurt. And deep in Montrose territory, this is a big one. As Carbondale has taken a seven-point lead, 22-15 over Montrose, and now they're in great shape with the football at the Meteor 23-yard line. See if they could take advantage of the turnover. Great to have you listening in up in the Montrose area. 
Hope you're enjoying the broadcast here on Adams Cable Channel 7. Hope you're nice and warm wherever you may be on this cool Friday night as Jablonowski will take the handoff, looking to turn it around the right side. Oh, don't stop. Put on the brakes. Yeah, you don't want to do uh, that. You can get killed Jeff doing that. Right for first down, Cardinal area. You got to run right out of bounds with that, Nick, to save your, save your body. Yeah, you just get what you can get. Fight another play. You're right, Glenn, because you don't know what's coming backside. Especially yeah, well, got sure. the big boys out there. Oh, with the football marked near the 12 yard line. I like the, the move that uh, Jabonowski made there. He, he cut, he was going to cut in and then cut it right back outside and he got, got to the end and he was gone. Carbondale can pick up a first down at about the two yard line. They'll go with Gelati on the play uh, handoff right up the middle. That's and the play goes inside the five yard line. That's close to nine yards. Gelati runs right up the middle yep. for. Well, right now. The battle on the line of scrimmage is being won by the Chargers. The six. six. Yeah, yeah that's probably seven. Line, we'll give him seven. We'll give the him one seven. win by Montrose this year was in week four as they defeated Holy Cross 38 to 14. They lost to Susquehanna 21 to seven in week one. 24 to nine against Old Fords. They played well in that ball game. And this is a handoff on the running play. It looked like uh, Jablonowski getting the call. Not too much there for him. Stopped at the uh, six-yard line. Uh, probably lost the yard. And with 5.39 remaining in the first half, it is third down and four. Four for the Chargers. They don't need to score for the first down. Uh, football is marked at about the six-yard line. As Jordan Tallarico will get ready for the snap. Here it is. He will hand it off. Or no, he's going to keep the football coming near side, and he'll break the plane of the goal line for the touchdown. Six-yard run for Tallarico. And it's 28-15 Carbondale. That was a good fake, Nick. Yeah, very good fake. Race to the uh, pylon and got it. Thanks to Steve and the rest of the research department. Now Bobby Morgan is on for the extra point. He already had hit one hit the upright. We'll see if he could uh, nail this one. Out of the hold of Rossetti. It's high no, enough. He, no. No wow. good. And with 5-12 remaining in the first half, it's Carbondale 28, Montrose 15 on Adams Cable High School Football. Nick's Excavating and Paving of Carbondale is committed to providing professional service in residential and commercial excavating, land clearing and demolition, foundations, driveways, sidewalks and utility lines. Enhance your property with new paving and steel coating, mulch or stone. For expert service on your next project, count on Nick's Excavating and Paving Carbondale. Excavating and Paving of Carbondale. Well, folks, now is the time to give Nick a call. It's a good time to get that seal coating done if you have any pavement. Uh, we're going to have some nice weather coming up. Temperatures maybe in the upper 60s. Perfect time to get that blacktop taken care of. So uh, still plenty of time left in the fall season to get your property taken care of, your pavement. So give Nick a call. He'll be glad to take care of everything you need to get everything set before the winter weather arrives. Nick's Excavating and Paving of Carbondale. 5-12 left to play in this very long first half of football. 28-15 the Chargers. And Dominic Gelati ready to kick it off for Carbondale. And, of course, two are deep for Montrose, John Herman and Zoe Castlebury. Here's the kick. Line drive shot bouncing around and picked up by an up back from Montrose. Wow. And he's he got some speed team, didn't and he? took it up across the 45-yard line. That was number four for Montrose, which was... Michael Fabrizio. He is a 5'7", 160-pound junior on that return. So that's a good job by Fabrizio. And Montrose has great field position to start this drive. They just have to find what they did in that first, you know, that first quarter. Second quarter here, since they switched the sides, it just seems like they went haywire. 
Yeah, they, uh, they've been having trouble moving the football, so we'll see if they can get untracked on this series of plays. From their own 47, first down and 10. Tim's on a handoff. Up to midfield. Please hands the ball off right up the middle for the Meteors. And... The ball is carried. Uh, that was... Uh, Dovin uh, getting the yep, call, yep. the junior Tyler fullback. Dovin. So a good job by Dovin picking up about four right up the middle of that Carbondale defense. Second and seven for Montrose as Seth Buckley will bring them to the line of scrimmage. Castlebury is wide out on the near side. Tim's on a quick handoff, quick hitter and nothing doing. Carbondale all over this running play by Montrose. Uh, late flag. Mondial hey, you know what, guys? I, I've got some new technology here, Bird. but it's I think we could bring some people up to date on scores. Hey, let's hear it. Yeah. yeah. Anthony is going to fire up. What is that? The phone? The, the new phone? iPhone? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the names. I just know they work. <laughs> Do we have a penalty here, Nick? Let's see. The officials are talking things over. Oh, we've got the scores up and running. Here we go. Well, I, Coach Gabriel's in a full, full blown conversation Here's here with call. the referee. Holding offense. Ten yard penalty. We spot a foul. We play second up. Well, it's time to update you in high school football. Here's one that's a shocker. Valley View shutting out North Pocono 12-0 in the second quarter. Cannot figure that team out whatsoever. Not Boy, they are starting to play, though, aren't Valley they? Valley View beats teams they have no business beating. <laughs> Delaware Valley shutting out Scranton 21-0 second quarter. As Montrose faces second down and 13, they want to throw Tims looking downfield. The pass is incomplete, as it was intended for Nate Giles. And it is West Scranton beating Honesdale in the second quarter, 14 to nothing. Scranton Prep shutting out Western Wayne in the second quarter, 14 nothing. Dunmore leads Mid Valley, 13 to three, second quarter. Riverside shutting out Holy Cross 27-0 in the second quarter. And those are your updates in high school football. Tomorrow, Wallenpawpack, Abington Heights, Lackawanna Trail in Susquehanna, Lakeland, and Old Forge, 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Saturday evening football as Tim's wants to throw and they complete the pass, but uh, for not too many yards. For Mondi on the reception. Some good defense by Carbondale. How about Martin coming up to make the big hit from his linebacker spot? Nearing the three minute mark remaining in the first half, 28 15. Carbondale leads Montrose. Fourth down and long for Montrose. Are they and going for it? Yeah, let's uh, find out. They're talking it over here. Boy, you have to wonder if they're going to roll the dice on 4th and 11, and it looks like they are. Big call here by first-year head coach Eric Nichols. Stay on side. 4th and 11. Montrose from its own 45. And now we have a timeout called. That's the second charge timeout left. There's a break in the action here in Carbondale with the Chargers up 28-15 over Montrose on Adams Cable High School Football. The Gabriel family and the staff at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated of Carbondale send best wishes to our local athletes and teams for a successful season. In your time of need, call 282-1219 for the ultimate in professional service from Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale. Now, back to more action with Nick Glenn and Steve on Adams Cable High School Football.
Colin Mondy on to punt for Montrose on fourth down and 11. Bit of a high snap. Mondy gets one up in the jet stream. And this football is Fumble. fumbled on the play. Looked like Fidela couldn't hang on to it. Let's find out who will have it. Wow, he was lucky. Oh, they get it back. back. Why, 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 you know, that. of all the times, uh, that might be the one you let bounce because they looked like they weren't very organized down there. They weren't very organized. It was an end over end kick, which is tough to feel in the first place. And he was surrounded. He, there was no business even feeling that. And Carbondale dodges a bullet. And they will get the football at their own 25. First down and 10 when play resumes. Now the official sent them back to the huddle. As I think a player from Montrose. Have, oh, no, the official on the far side of the field was uh, having a chat. Because I don't know where they're going after the game, that's all. I guess. <laughs> you know, I, I'm gl glad that Nichols thought better of uh, going for that because there's still a, a good half a game left here, and uh, who knows the way this game is going. Tallarico running the offense. Tallarico on a late pitch. Far side of the field, and that looks like Orms. Getting the call. Well, the the first down. Plus 11 for Mr. Orms. Yeah, good run by Dylan Orms. It was definitely Orms. He lowers that. <laughs> he <laughs> likes to lower the head in there like a ram. Yeah, when he gets the football, he's coming at you. New set of downs for the Chargers from their own 36 with just about two and a half minutes to play in the first half as Carbondale is up 28 to 15. Tallarico will survey the Montrose defense. Tallarico, a late pitch. This time they'll come to the near side. Orms hemmed in and thrown to the turf by the Montrose defense. Good job, but not before Orms picks up about seven or eight yards on the play. Gains about eight on the play, bringing up a second two for the Chargers. They start getting Orms untracked. Gelati can come at you. Jablonowski. Pretty good combination in that backfield. Second and two for the Chargers from their own 44. Late pitch will go to Orms looking for running room. And boy, his forward progress may yeah. give him the first down. They, the both, I think they I think he's got it. He was, yeah, he was about a yard past that, uh, the first down marker, and he was driven back five yards. So Carbondale will sustain the drive, and we'll see if uh, Tallarico will air it out, guys, leading 28-15. Minute and a half left in the first half. Tallarico works out of the gun. Back to throw with time. Fires, and the pass is broken up. Good job in the secondary by Maverick Timms from his linebacker position. The pass is broken up. Stopping the clock at 117, second and 10 for the Chargers. Tallarico will come to the near sideline and talk with head coach Larry Gabriel III. Second down and 10 for the Chargers. It'd be nice if Carbondale could put one in in, in, in in this last minute and 17 seconds. Here's Tallarico going to work. And Tallarico with a handoff. And this is Gelati breaking tackles. He won't go down and finally collared at the 42-yard line of Montrose. Great run by Dominic Gelati. 5'8", 205 pounds and a senior. And a timeout on the court will, or on the field. We'll keep it right here. I'm, it's getting there. It's, it's getting to there. You know what? You know what, guys? I was telling Eric Larson the gym looks great. They refinished the floor. I haven't seen it. Oh, no. it looks great. Fantastic. And I said, you know, basketball season is right around the corner. He said, yeah, well, it's, it's going to be here before we know it, guys. A big thanks to all of the people who make high school football possible here on Adams Cable Channel 7. Jerry's Tire and Auto Service. Nick's Excavating and Paving. Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street. Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center by McGovern Insurance Agency, 
Talking Auto Supply, your Napa Auto Parts store. NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield, by the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Right now, uh, get, folks, keep in mind that archery season is in full swing, so stop by and uh, see Tom Prodzik and the gang at the White's Crossing Sports Shop for all the accessories you need. Thanks to Dominic's Pizza for sponsoring tonight's game, Tom's Floor Shop Main Street and Childs, and of course, the Roselle Department Store. Second and 10 for Carbondale from the Montrose 42 after the timeout. Oh, uh, everybody was moving on this one. I, I just don't get it. After a timeout, that should not happen. Well, there's the call. Should not happen after a, after a timeout. You should be all on the same page. Now Cardinals at the 46. Yes, the Chargers backed up five yards. They'll go to work this time from the Montrose 46 on second and 15. 110 remaining in the half. And Tallarico with an eye formation in the backfield. And Yates in motion. Off the play fake, Tallarico dumps uh, it off intended for well, Jelotti. Well, he threw, he threw it behind him. That's still, still catchable, though. He was wide open. Wide open. I mean, you run it, you've been running the ball at, you know, six, seven, eight yards a clip here. Why abandon it now? Well, one-two punch, Orms and Gelati right now. Yeah, I mean, you're having success. You're going to start throwing the ball, which, again, I don't think you do that well. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, and they know. Uh, and you want to run the clock out on yeah, it in here, too. you still have two timeouts in your in your. In your possession I mean now Carbondale will look down the barrel of second and 15 you better be careful here you don't pick up a first down you give a ball back to them as I mean, Tallarico looks no. to dump it off and it was batted away by the Montrose defense four seconds there I mean come on number 52 Seth Buckley yeah you're right Nick. you're in a third and 15 here I mean you know you're not careful even a pick left in the half well, Nick, maybe uh, next year what we can do is we can get you hooked up wirelessly Coach with an Gator earpiece to go. <laughs> <laughs> you could be in the ear of Coach Larry Gabriel. <laughs> okay, McCurry. what do we call him, Nick? <laughs> how about, how about, a, how about a, a screen pass? Double reverse pass. They're down 15 <laughs> as Carvindale will work out of the screen. shotgun. Tallarico away from the pressure, fires downfield, and it is complete to Adam Rossetti for a Carvindale first down. Throws a dart right down the Chargers sideline to Rosetti. Huge Good job by Carbondale to sustain the drive with under a minute remaining in the first half, and they are up 28 to 15. Now a hurry-up offense now by the Chargers. As Tallarico out of the shotgun, looks near side, and the pass is picked off just as Nick mentioned, and a big pick. There it is by wow. the Montrose Meteors. Yep. We don't have 73 listed. Let do some checking here, guys, and uh, don't have him on the program. I must be like Carnick. Yeah. You called it, Nick. I did. I. You see it coming. It's it's similar to what you know. Montrose is now handicapped because they can't throw the ball, so you know Carbonell knows it's coming. Now you're in your hurry up offense, you know you're going to throw the ball. Everybody's dropping back in coverage. A lineman intercepted that. Well, Montrose will go to work trailing 28-15 with 40 seconds left. And they try to run the football, but there's nothing doing against this Charger defense that has been suddenly very stingy. Montrose just dodged a bullet there on defense. And Timms will spike the football to stop the clock with 22 seconds remaining. Very sloppy second quarter. Yeah, compared to the first. Right? Compared to the first when it was efficient offense, the second quarter just uh, the teams this guy think got away from what they did best, really. I think you nailed it, Nick. Yeah. I, I, yeah, they put points on the board. But. Third down and 11 for Montrose from the Carbondale 47-yard line. Tim's running the offense. Will take the snap against the grain. Fires downfield. Does he have his man? No. Incomplete. Incomplete. Intended for R.J. Arnold, the six foot, one hundred seventy pound senior. Fourth and eleven for the Meteors. Eighteen seconds left. Fourth down and long for Montrose. Yeah, the way Montrose 
marched down the field, taking almost eight minutes off the clock. I think it was 7.58, Glenn, Glenn mentioned, yep. uh, on a time-consuming drive to take the early lead. You would think that uh, they could keep doing that, but Carbondale made some adjustments, and Nick, I think you nailed it. Uh, both teams Carbondale kind of got, got away, away from Carbondale what got they away from their running game too. Yeah, they, got, they both kind of got away from what was working for them. I mean, keep running until you stop it. I, I, I believe that firmly. But. Tim's to throw, rushes on, fires downfield. Pass is complete. Complete, and that matter. is Arnold. Is but with 12 seconds remaining. No, but it doesn't matter. It was fourth and 11. You ran an eight. Yeah. Uh, so yes. they ran yes. out of uh, downs, and they will turn it over to Carbonell uh -huh. with 12 uh -huh. seconds uh -huh. left. Carbonell and Tyler Eco are going to retake the field. So the Chargers offense will come back out onto the football field leading 28 to 15 with 12 seconds left in the first half. As Carbondale will approach the line of scrimmage. Up by 13 points and with 12 seconds on the clock Tolerico will work out of the shotgun. Tolerico fires, and he's got Yates for a gain of about five on the play. And Yates still fighting for yardage, won't go down, and that will bring an end to the first half of today's Lackawanna Football Conference Division Three matchup with Carbondale leading Montrose by the score of 28-15 to as both teams will head to the locker room for halftime. Big when your car does this. Call us first. Every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. That's the motto at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale. In an accident, remember, it is your car and your choice to choose your repair center. Call Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale, well known for integrity, safety, and craftsmanship. For more information concerning your rights and the 10 things you need to know before having your car repaired, go to their website, bestinsautobody.com. Good luck to all area teams. From Tony, Mike, Jeff, and the staff at Bestins Auto Body and Collision Center, Gordon Avenue, Carbondale. Enjoy the feel of deep, rich luxury. Get the drama of radiant color and experience the timeless beauty, comfort, and durability of carpeting from Tom's Floor Shop and Childs. Tom's Floor Shop offers a large selection of hardwood, laminate, vinyl, ceramic tile, and carpeting on display in their showroom. Rely on Tom's Floor Shop for expert installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop. Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. They carry a full line of archery accessories, hunting and reloading supplies, live bait, and a variety of fishing tackle. The White's Crossing Sports Shop is open seven days a week from 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. Call 282-4699 or log on to their website at whitescrossing.com. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. The Gabriel family and the staff at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated of Carbondale send best wishes to our local athletes and teams for a successful season. In your time of need, call 282-1219 for the ultimate in professional service from Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale. Nick's Excavating and Paving of Carbondale is committed to providing professional service in residential and commercial excavating, land clearing and demolition, 
foundations, driveways, sidewalks, and utility lines. Enhance your property with new paving and steel coating, mulch, or stone. For expert service on your next project, count on Nix Excavating and Paving Carbondale. Tonkin Auto Supply, your Napa dealer in Carbondale, has been serving the area for over 36 years with the largest inventory of automotive replacement parts and accessories. Experience Napa know-how with knowledgeable customer service from Glenn Garth and the staff at Tonkin Auto Supply in Carbondale, your Napa know-how folks. A trip to Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale means you get confidence and peace of mind knowing that your vehicle is repaired by qualified technicians. Jerry's offers brand name tires and wheel alignment, brake service, oil changes, computer diagnostics, and Pennsylvania safety inspection and emissions testing. Call 282-TIRE or visit their website jerrystire at gmail.com. For dependable, efficient service, visit Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. Before or after the game, enjoy pizza from Dominic's Pizza with locations on Main Street, Carbondale and Washington Avenue in German. Their many varieties of delicious pizza means there's always an old favorite or a new tasty treat. Check out their menu of favorites including subs, hot wings, chicken parm, stromboli, cheese steaks and much more. Order by calling Dominic's Pizza in Carbondale at 570-282-5128 or Dominic's in German at 570-876-5858 with delivery service available. For the best pizza, wings, classic subs, and more, visit Dominic's Pizza of Carbondale in German. And I mean, they're pretty adamant about it too. It's not like uh, they just say, okay guys, you got 10 minutes. No, Carbondale won the opening toss. They deferred until the second half, so they will get the second half kickoff. And Montrose will tee it up and kick off to the Carbondale area Chargers. Two are deep for Carbondale. Chris Lewis, very good kicker. How about an onside kick? That would that finish this that whole would, thing that up? Would totally. Uh, there, yes. there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and it's caught but by an offensive guy. But they watched the guy catch Carbondale. it. Oh. Jaden Hudson is Johnny on the spot with a quick catch on the onside kick by the <laughs> Glenn, you called it. They had the opportunity. <laughs> like, like a soothsayer. <laughs> that was Jaden Hudson. Somebody over there was. <laughs> on the recovery for Carbondale. Well, with a kicker like uh, Chris Lewis, who could who could really kick the football, I expected him to put that in the end zone, but uh, it was not to be. And Carbondale will get excellent field position at its own 47-yard line with a first down to start quarter number three here in the Pioneer City. In motion is Adam Rossetti, and Tallarico will keep, and he will fall forward. Fumble. Lost the football, and let's find out who will have it. It looks right. like Carbondale will keep it. And they Tallarico pick up about six or seven yards on Actually that picked up three on the run and four more on the fumble. Now, is he allowed to fumble forward like that? Well, I guess. <laughs> no like the holy roller, yeah. right? Well, no flag on the play. Well, I don't know if it's it's not a penalty so right. much, but you know they they should have got up from where the spot of the fumble occurred, because you'll always see the beanbag come out. Where... Well, second down, a five-yard gain on the play. Second and five for the Chargers in Montrose territory at the 47. Here's the pitch near side. It's Jablonowski spun down by the Montrose defense as he plows inside. The number Meteor 45-yard line. Zoe Castleberry, number 52. Castleberry in on the tackle, as you heard. That's a first down. And the sticks will move on the far side of the field, and uh, Carbondale will sustain the drive. This is what Carbondale needs to do. Run some time off the clock. Uh, establish that running game. Get the momentum back in their favor. Right now, it is Carbondale area. That's Gelati again With doing, Gelati doing what he call. does best. Just punishing nice people as he up. runs up the gut. About eight. He's tackled by about nine Montrose Meteors. <laughs> How does he know it was nine? <laughs> because there was only two other ones standing. <laughs> 
Second down and two for Carbondale as they go to work from their own 35-yard line. And Yates will go in motion, and the handoff will go to Jason Jablonowski, trying to uh, dance his way for a first down, and he'll be close. Yep, he's got it. Seth Bulkley. First down, Chargers. So now Carbondale area will go to work with a new set of downs from the Montrose 32 yard line. First down and 10 with Yates in motion and Tolerico to throw. He fires the pass out to Yates on the far side of the field. Nice move and Yates will fall forward but not before they pick up a huge gain. And that will go inside the 10 yard line. Inside the 15 will mark it at the 10. 23-yard completion. Carbondale, first down at the 11. They're charging right down the field. Nine twenty-three to play here in third quarter action. 28 to 15, your score. Carbondale area, Tallarico on a pitch. And this is Dylan Orms into the end zone for an 11-yard touchdown. And it's a touchdown, Chargers! And with 9.09 remaining third quarter, it is Carbondale 34 and Montrose 15. 34-15, Carbondale leads. It's a setup for a conversion. So Carbondale picking up where they left off. as the Chargers will talk things over in the huddle. And Carbondale will attempt the two-point conversion. And here is Tolerico rolling out, and this uh, pass incomplete. is incomplete. With 9.09 remaining in the third, Carbondale is up 34-15 over Montrose on Adams Cable High School Football. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team at NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield online at njsco.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Here is a kick by Dominic Gelati, a pretty good one. And on the return for Montrose, it is John Herman. And with Montrose trailing 34 to 15, they will go to work offensively. First down and 10. Spot of the football will be at about their own 35-yard line. Montrose is going to take over to 35. And up to the line of scrimmage they come. First down and 10 as we have nine minutes remaining here in the third. And Maverick Timms will set them down. And Timms hands it off. That's to Mondi. And Monday will take the football to the 44-yard line on a nice run. Colin Monday is a senior, 6'3", 215 pounds. Second and two from the 44. Yeah, trying to do a little texting here, folks. <laughs> as we uh, do the game. Multi-talented. You are. <laughs> no, I'm not doing a good job, <laughs> I can tell you that, because I just uh -oh, Nobody there to hand it off to. And Tim's is in trouble on the second yeah. down play from the 44. Looks like that, that, was, that play broke down real quick. He turned, looked for a, 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 a running back, running back and no one was there. It's a lonely feeling. <laughs> yeah, that is a lonely feeling, no doubt about it. 
Yeah, when you see that defense, uh, you know, ready to barrel down on you, it's a, it's a lonely place to be. Third down and a yard to go for the Montrose Meteors as they operate from their own 44-yard line on the short end of a 34-15 score. Timms will keep the football, and, oh, he uh, was belted on the play. He may have made that. Uh, Check his forward progress, but, uh, yeah, uh, yeah yep. the – Markers will move on the far side of the field, so Montrose will sustain the drive with a first down. But I'll tell you what, he took a good hit there. He sure did. Who is Tater? Can I just ask that? Does anybody know? I have no clue who to nickname that. You always hear him, you know, one of the parents or, you know, somebody's yelling about Tater down Here's there. a toss play to Herman around the left side. Cut down after a short game in front of the Montrose bench. We will be at Lakeland next week for high school football as Montrose will travel to Lakeland to take on the Chiefs. I'll tell you, you want to talk about uh, a, a power running game with Montrose and a, and a speedy running game with, the, with Lakeland. Yeah. Basically, this is what we have here. Right Second down and eight, and the schedule makers were not kind to uh, Montrose this year as they uh, finished their last three on the road here tonight at Carbondale and week nine at Lakeland. And, and then they will be at home, of course, at Lackawanna Trail. I thought they were on the road in week 10, but they will finish up at home with Lackawanna Trail. So uh, we'll see Montrose again next week up at Lakeland. And we certainly hope it's a little bit warmer. Yeah. <laughs> you're asking for a lot there. Yeah, you're, yeah I know. You're, you're just, <laughs> just, just by going to Lakeland, it's 10 degrees I'm different. definitely already thinking about what you know, thermals I'm going to wear this week. <laughs> you better start planning a week in advance for that, Nick. <laughs> Monday, there, look out. there is Monday with the football breaking tackle still on his feet. Perk giving chase and... Monday takes it in for a 48-yard touchdown. Nice. Good effort by Monday. Nice run there to pick up a Montrose touchdown. Takes a couple Chargers with them. 34-21 as Montrose answers. So Colin Monday, the senior, with the touchdown. You know, and what 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 was that arm tackling arm by? Tackling. The arm and he just tackling. thought, you know, they just thought he was going to go down. And I got news for you, he's not. Chris Lewis, the senior, is on for the point after out of the hold of Tim's. Good snap, line drive kick, and he splits the uprights. And Montrose comes up with a score with 549 remaining here in the third, and they now trail Carbondale 34-22 on Adams Cable High School Football. The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. They carry a full line of archery accessories, hunting and reloading supplies, live bait, and a variety of fishing tackle. The White's Crossing Sports Shop is open seven days a week from 7 a.m. until 1 p.m. Call 282-4699 or log on to their website at whitescrossing.com. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. It's the White's Crossing Sports Shop. 549 remaining in third quarter action. 34-22 your score. Carbondale your leader. Chris Lewis will kick off for Montrose. Let's check it. New kicker in there for Montrose. And this will be the return by Adam Rossetti. And Rossetti oh. has a lot of real uh, estate in front of him and was I don't know tripped if he got, up on the play. I don't know if he got tripped up or he, tri he slipped when he cut. I think Seth Buckley might have got a hand on him to trip him up. And Carbondale will have excellent field possession to start this series of plays. Yeah, I think they got him just enough. Tariko heads back onto the field as the Chargers take over with 540 left in the third, up 12. Yeah, we'll update you on high school football coming up in just a few minutes. Anthony Cook, our producer, will fire up his new technology and we'll try to update you on some scores around the area. On the first down play from the Carbondale 45, they will give the football to Jablonowski and he's dropped after about a two yard gain. If Montrose can find any assembly of defense here to get a stop. Just to give them a chance. The 47 yard line. Well, we have some start, scores. Though. We can update you. 
Well, North Pocono has scored in that football game, and they now trail Valley View 12-7. And uh, Valley View is on the road taking on North Pocono. So that's a good football game, third quarter have, score. Have you seen their new uh, turf up there in North Pocono? Yeah. No, I yeah, haven't. It's beautiful. Oh, what a nice job they did. As Tallarico will hand it off. Looks like Gelati getting the call. And Gelati with a full head of steam, I believe. Yep. And Ten yard pickup for first picks down. Picks up an all important first down to sustain the drive. Dunmore all over Mid Valley third quarter score 41 to 3. Scranton Prep shutting out Western Wayne 21 0 in the third. Riverside in the third quarter shutting out Holy Cross 42 to nothing. And Honesdale being shut out by West Scranton 33 0. That was a halftime score. Well, is, isn't it isn't the pattern for Dunmore about the same it always is? Every year. Struggle early, get better and better as the year goes by. Yeah, we talked about it, Nick. If, yeah, we talked about it. If you want to catch Dunmore, you have to get them early in the year. Weeks one or week two because it always seems like they get that thing on track and uh, they don't look back. Well, they're a solid program. That sure is. Second down and eight for Carbondale in Montrose territory at the 42-yard line. I was looking at the brackets for the state playoffs already. Um, Late pitch to Javlinowski, and Javlinowski finds running room around the far yeah, side. Another, another you know, that double-A bracket, I mean, you're not going to see a Southern Columbia until the Eastern Final. Right. You're going to, you know, the District 2 winner right now, I believe, plays District 3's winner. Now, nothing against District 3, but I mean, they're not ex exactly perennial powers in double-A down there. I think Newport is the best team down there right now. So, I mean, you know, whoever comes out of District 2 has got a chance to make some noise. Right, they, they could make a deep run in the uh, playoffs. From the 31-yard line, Carbondale is on the move. They keep it on the ground and go right up the gut. Dylan Orms, a junior tailback. Of course, you got to get through Southern Columbia if you're going to go right. to Hershey, but still. Nearing the three-minute mark remaining here in the third, 34-22, Carbondale leads Montrose. And the Chargers will look at second down. Second down and about five yards to go. And the football spotted on the 30-yard line. Here is Tallarico turning the corner, and Tallarico in some trouble and then dropped on the play. Good pursuit by the Montrose defense. And leading the way for Montrose, Seth Buckley, the defensive end for the Meteor defense. Gain of seven for Tallarico, brings up a, a third and two. And there's a timeout. 254 left in the third. Carbondale leads Montrose on Adams Cable High School Football. Before or after the game, enjoy pizza from Dominic's Pizza with locations on Main Street, Carbondale, and Washington Avenue in German. Their many varieties of delicious pizza means there's always an old favorite or a new tasty treat. Check out their menu of favorites including subs, hot wings, chicken parm, stromboli, cheese steaks, and much more. Order by calling Dominic's Pizza in Carbondale at 570-282-5128 or Dominic's in German at 570-876-5858 with delivery service available. For the best pizza, wings, classic subs, and more, visit Dominic's Pizza of Carbondale in German. Back to the gridiron for more Adams Cable High School football. Here is Carbondale on third down and two from the Montrose 23-yard line. Tallarico on a quick hitter to Gelati. He's got the first down. Yep. He's... Well, this is the way you want to go into Dunmore, next week's Dunmore, game Dunmore, against the Dunmore Bucks. You want to be playing your best football. And uh, right now, Carbondale looking pretty good moving the football. 
Carbondale gets a score here, the and, 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 you know, takes another couple minutes off the off the clock. It that that's a that's exactly what the, the, they're asking for right here. That's just what they need. Ortiz will be wide on the top of your screen. Rosetti on the near side. As Tallarico will have a split backfield behind him, and Dylan Orms with the football off to the races. Orms tripped up. Great tackle on the far side of the field by Michael Fabrizio, a junior. He's the cornerback at 5'7", 160 pounds. Great open field tackle. Well, yeah, it was. It, was, it, was, it seems like it seemed like you just tripped him up, but. Uh, if you see Orms run many times, he knocks people over. But it seems like they just, just stumbled on that play or something. Yeah. Good good open field tackle. You're right, Steve. Locked his feet up. He had nowhere to go. Line of scrimmage marked at the 15-yard line on second down and five. Buck 44 to play in the third. And Carbondale Fumble. Fumble. lost the football. Who has it? Montrose should have it. Looks like Montrose will recover. So Montrose comes up with a big fumble recovery on the play. That is big. Yeah, that extra spin move by Gelati, I think, is where he lost the ball. Somebody had him held up. I don't know if he just got hit from behind or somebody made a strip on him. Yeah, you know, you, there is time to go down. Yeah. But it's yeah, you, can't, you, cannot, you cannot fault them for trying to the, the effort. Now Montrose will take over with the football at about their own five-yard line. And no surprise here. They're going to keep it on the ground, play it safe, and go right up the middle and advance the football to about the 13-yard line. It's the first down already. Or maybe not. That'll be a little bit short, I believe. The one chain started moving, the other one yeah. stayed away. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is already, week number eight of high school football. And it certainly feels now like football weather is, uh, boy, you really dodged, really dodged the bullets the first couple of weeks and then had some rain a couple of weeks back on Friday boy, night. Boy, they better put a, they better get to tackle this guy because he's going to break another one. And you got to wrap him up nice. if you don't. By Steve Martin and Adam after a nice what do you think, guys? Another overtime game tonight? Yeah, a little early for that. Yeah, talk to us. In the fourth quarter yeah. about that. Well, 49 seconds before. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, that was a big. They, they needed a score there to, to keep the momentum. From the 25-yard line, Tim's running the offense for Montrose. Another fumble. Yep. And Montrose will fall on it. They'll keep the possession. Trailing 34-22. But those are the kind of mistakes that just drive you nuts because... Yeah, that, yeah, let's check. That's very... The official's really taking a close look at it. That should be very routine. I mean, it's just the center of quarterback exchange. I mean... Well, that's what uh, first-year head coach Eric Nichols talked about in the pregame. And when we had a chance to talk to him, uh, just too many mistakes. And that will uh, take you out of a lot of close football games. Final seven seconds will tick away here at the Andrew J. Sarah Sports Complex in Carbondale. Will Tim's get the snap away? He will. They'll run the football. I'll tell you what. This play is shut down cold by he, Carbondale. He turned again, and there was no one there. Yeah, I, so some miscommunication yeah, in the backfield of Montrose. That <laughs> and that's the end of third quarter action here in Carbondale with the Chargers leading Montrose 34-22 to on Adams Cable High School Football. Enjoy the feel of deep, rich luxury. Get the drama of radiant color and experience the timeless beauty, comfort, and durability of carpeting from Tom's Floor Shop and Childs. Tom's Floor Shop offers a large selection of hardwood, laminate, vinyl, ceramic tile, and carpeting on display in their showroom. Rely on Tom's Floor Shop for expert installation. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop. Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. There's some cool new stuff out there. Cars that drive themselves. Phones that talk to us. There's a cafe behind you. And now TV everywhere. That's right, Lucky Adams Cable Service customer. Now you can watch channels from your TV package just about anywhere on just about any device. Catch your favorites in the waiting room, coffee shop, 
break room, the airport, wherever. TV everywhere. It's a cool extra service for no extra cost. Visit AdamsCable.com and sign up today. Glenn Muskowski, Nick Homick, and producer Anthony Cook. I'm Steve Young. Great to have you with us here on this Friday night in Carbondale for week number eight of high school football. As the Chargers and the Montrose Meteors battle here in week number eight. Fourth quarter just getting underway with Carbondale leading Montrose 34 to 22. Montrose facing third down and 11 yards to go. And they give the football uh, no. to Mondi, and he's hemmed in on the far side of the field, shut down no. by the aggressive Carbondale defense. That was big because now, now they get the ball back and they can run clock. Two other Chargers bringing up a fourth and nine for the Meteors. Fourth down for Montrose, and the punting team will come on. So this will be another opportunity if all goes well for the Chargers. And Mondi, Carlin, Colin Mondi, will drop back in punt formation near his own 10-yard line. Good snap from center, rushes on. Mondi gets away a great punt. And this is going to be Rossetti drilled on the play. Good coverage by My Michael Fabrizio of Montrose. And with Carbondale leading 34-22, they will go back on the offensive attack with a first down and 10. And the football spotted on the Charger, 39. Now, Carbondale needs to maintain a, uh, a good running game here, keep the clock moving, get down and get another score and run some, some uh, valuable time off the clock. Andrew Larson will lead Carbondale to the line of scrimmage. Rossetti will line up now in the slot. Yates alongside of him on the first down play. Ooh. And Ortiz in motion. Late pitch will go to Jablonowski. And Jablonowski with a good job taking the football up across the 45-yard line. All right here, you're up. You don't want to... Uh, be too conservative with the, no. the football. You want to take time off but, the clock, uh, you take do your want time to run getting to clock. the line of scrimmage, run, uh, run, get a few first downs, keep that clock moving. Out of the huddle come the Chargers on second down and two from the Carbondale 47. Here's Tolerico on a late pitch, and it will go to Jablonowski, and he is wrapped up on the oh. play, and there's a flag. It looks like a face yeah. mask. Is That's that unfortunate if it is, because that was, you know, a great defensive play by Montrose. Yeah, you could tell the way Jablonowski no, That was just down. where the ball was marked. Oh, no, really? No, it's, 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 it's face mask. Yeah, that wow. was a good defensive effort, because they had him, you know. So they, they cut, get, they in, mark, we marked that as a as a loss it's of a three loss. yards, right? right. Minus three down. and a plus a first down. Yeah, they had Jablonowski behind the line of scrimmage, but uh, a costly penalty. You know, you, you, if you're Carbondale, you might want to start scaling back some of the options just for the fact of, you know, ball could be on the ground eventually. <laughs> yeah, do you, that has happened Not tonight. totally ab yeah, abandoned, but, right. you know. A couple of dives and things like that to, yeah. to Gelati. They haven't stopped it yet. Ten minutes left to play in the fourth quarter. Here's Tolerico on the option pitch. Jablonowski near side. Jablonowski lowers the shoulder and plows and he stays forward. In, and another thing, he stays in bounds. That's a good job by Jason Jablonowski. He's close to a first down. He might have it, and he does. And the chain gang will move the markers on the far side of the field. Carbondale up 34-22 over Montrose, and a couple of first downs back-to-back -back will sustain the drive. Guys, you got something off the hook down there? Yes, we do. <laughs> right on cue every Friday every night. Every Friday night at this time. What time is it? Anthony, check know. the time. 9 o'clock. Right on cue. We're going to uh, take care of that problem very quick. We did. Usually Nick says, well, somebody answer somebody the phone. Answer the phone. <laughs> somebody says, no, there's phone, no phone ringing. <laughs> <laughs> but 
it's second, off the hook. It's yes, not ringing. Yes, second right. down and four. And the football marked on the Montrose 27-yard line, getting colder as we speak here in Carbondale. <laughs> <laughs> it's... I can't believe I came unprepared tonight. That's not like you, Nick. Yeah, Usually you I are just, prepared for anything. I don't know where my head's at half the time. And Jablonowski with a nice move, still fighting for yardage, stacked up as he goes inside the 25-yard line of Montrose. That's very close to a first down. Well, you know what, though? You're in four-down territory. No, absolutely. Let the clock run a little bit now. Like, him not picking up a first down is not the end of the world. Right? Yeah, what, the what they're doing is... Until uh, set, you know, until they reset the chains. Some textbook football right here as Carbondale has a 34-22 advantage nearing the eight-minute mark remaining in the fourth quarter. And Carbondale taking its time in the huddle. The yeah, they're going to talk it over. And there's a timeout called by the Chargers. A trip to Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale means you get confidence and peace of mind knowing that your vehicle is repaired by qualified technicians. Jerry's offers brand name tires and wheel alignment, brake service, oil changes, computer diagnostics, and Pennsylvania safety inspection and emissions testing. Call 282-TIRE or visit their website jerrystire at gmail.com. For dependable, efficient service, visit Jerry's Tire and Auto Service in Carbondale. The action continues from the 50-yard line with Nick, Glenn, and Steve on Channel 7 High School Football. Following the timeout, Carbondale talked it over as they looked down the barrel of third down and a yard to go from the Montrose 25-yard line. Jordan Tallarico will take the snap on the late pitch. This is Orms with the football, and the strength will give him the first down inside the 30-yard line. Another five-yard gain for Orms, and a little bit of punishment dished out again. Yeah, he got that one at the end all on his own. Steve, these are your old uh, uh, sheets that you gave me, and we ran, we were running out of uh, first downs. That, for that's that's unique. That's something you don't see too no, often. Nope. Twenty, how many first downs? Twenty-two. Wow. wow. Twenty-two first downs for Carbondale in this football game. I'm gonna say that's a season high. From the 19-yard line, oh, Tallarico looking end what zone for Yates incomplete. <laughs> What are they it stops doing? The clock the great play by Fabrizio. Four, Fabrizio. Sure was. What well, a great football name, Fabrizio. Gotta love it. It's either that or he works in uh, in uh, Joe, Joe Vidal's <laughs> Italian pizza <laughs> shop. Absolutely. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is a great name. That, that is, is a great athletic name. name. Second down and 10 for the Chargers from the Montrose 19. Quick hitter, Gelati, there he goes. He wants that end zone, and he's got it. Got it this time, Joe. It was no, Dominic, rather. No doubt about it. <laughs> That's a one Joe Gelati reference again. Yeah. 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 19-yard touchdown run for Dominic Gelati, and Carbondale now leads Montrose 40-22. to Now this is what you want. Go into next week's game here at home with Dunmore. On a high note, Bobby Morgan is on for the extra point out of the hold of Rossetti. This hey, time it's good. Got one. Finally got one. Uh, his kicks weren't all long enough, but just a little. The Garmin was off a little bit. Forty-one <laughs> twenty-two, Carbondale. As we go to a break on Adams Cable High School Football. Nick's Excavating and Paving of Carbondale is committed to providing professional service in residential and commercial excavating, land clearing and demolition, foundations, driveways, sidewalks and utility lines. Enhance your property with new paving and steel coating, mulch or stone. For expert service on your next project, count on Nick's Excavating and Paving Carbondale. 
Back at the Andrew J. Serra Sports Complex in Carbondale, Steve Young, Glenn Muskowski, Nick Homick, and producer Anthony Cook. Great to have you on board for high school football tonight on this cold Friday in the Pioneer City with Carbondale leading Montrose 41 to 22. Dominic Gelati will tee up the football for the Chargers and on the return team for Montrose to our deep. Once again, it's John Herman and Zoe Castlebury. Here's the whistle and with 7-11 remaining here in the fourth, Carbondale will kick it off. Well, you take a look at the fans here in Carbondale in the bleachers. They're bundled up in blankets and heavy jackets, trying to yep. stay warm as we have about 40 degrees right now in Carbondale. And this kick is going to be picked up and fumbled, bottled a little bit by Castlebury out of bounds. And Montrose will start this drive from their own 26-yard line with a first down and 10. Sims and the Maverick offense are going to take over. So for Montrose, uh, they got off to a very good start here against Carbondale early in that first quarter, but they just could not sustain that momentum that they had. And Carbondale, once they got the momentum, they turned it around and really never looked back in this Carbondale football game. Carbondale looks really good in this game tonight. Uh, Seems like they're playing with much more confidence. On the first down play, Maverick Timms of Montrose will run the offense, and Timms will hand it off. Not much happening, though, as they yeah, do. Well, now, now there is. The play is still going on the far side of the field. It's strong out. That was uh, Harley Mullins with his first carry of the night. Yeah, Mullins not listed on the roster, wearing number uh, 44. Head coach Eric Nichols said he will see a little bit of action here tonight. So Mullins gets the call. I'll tell you what, he almost broke that one. But, you know, he wasn't going to break away from the guy that had his hands on him. That, and that happened to be uh, Dominic Gelati. Second down and 10 for Montrose from its own 26-yard line, trailing 41-22. Mondi goes in motion. He'll take the pitch. Looking for room and is whacked yeah. on the play right at the line of scrimmage. Well, I will say this about Carbondale in this, in this half, uh, actually in the, in the game after the first quarter, they've, they've come to the football. They've come to the ball. There, there's, 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 guys, there's guys around the ball all the time. Now, do they wrap up all the time? Not necessarily. No, we have a timeout on the field. We'll keep it right here with 5.57 remaining in the fourth. And thank all the great people who make this broadcast possible. Jerry's Tire and Auto Service. Stop by and see Jerry for all of your automotive servicing needs. The winter weather is uh, around the corner. I hate to say it, folks, but uh, now is the time to get your automobile ready for winter. No better place to take it than to Jerry's Tire and Auto Service. Nick's excavating and paving. Good time to get that seal coating done on your pavement, folks. Still a lot of time remaining. Give Nick a call. First thing tomorrow, thanks to Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services of Carbondale, Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, a longtime sponsor, Tony, Mike, Jeff, and the great staff. Thanks to those guys for sponsoring tonight's ball game. McGovern Insurance Agency, a cornerstone of the Carbondale Business District. We thank them for their support. Tonkin Auto Supply, your home for Napa Auto Parts. NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield. For all of you people listening in up in Montrose, if you need hydraulics, NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 in Mayfield. They have what you're looking for. The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Dominic's Pizza, and, of course, Tom's Floor Shop and Child's. Now is a great time to give Tony or Tom and uh, the guys, Ronnie, a call and uh, come up and have them give you an estimate on new flooring or carpeting in your home just before the holiday season. Thanks to all of those great sponsors, including the Roselle Department Store, for making high school football possible. Well, fourth down and long for Montrose, and the punting unit will come on as Montrose trails 41-22 as we near five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Now they're going for it. Yeah, looked like the punting unit was coming on. I thought I saw Mondi coming out and looked like he was going to punt, but they are going to roll the dice and gamble here on the fourth down play. Timms will keep it, and Timms 
will get a first down for Again. Montrose, and he carries the pile up across the 45-yard line. And why, why is that? Because everybody's tackling from the waist up. Yeah. Nobody's uh, Nobody hit the legs. The Gee, that was a beautiful play by Tim's right there. Yeah, that's a great call by Eric Nichols, a roll of the dice, and it paid dividends that time as they will sustain this drive and keep the football at their own 45-yard line with a new set of downs. Oh, at that point, what do you got to lose? Really? Oh. First down for Montrose with 420 left in the fourth. Man goes in motion. Up. And Tim's no. is belted as he throws the football. He was really whacked he on the play. Fortunate to get that ball off. Yates, Yates, <laughs> Yates' eyes must have been this as yeah. big as uh, he was zeroed in on him. No doubt this about it. Frisbee's that time when he was coming in. Good defensive effort by Carbondale that time will result in second down and ten. We'll have Anthony Cook get set to uh, update us on some. High school football, we might have a couple of finals for you. As Montrose will approach the line of scrimmage on the second down play. Timms will keep. Good job by Timms as he falls forward inside Carbondale territory at the Charger 49. Maverick Timms. Yeah, I don't know. I have a blank screen here. <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> there we go. I was just I was just testing your guys' uh, skills with all this technology. We're put to the test every week. <laughs> Third down and five, and here's a pass downfield. It is complete. R.J. Ar Arnold on the receiving end. Quickly, we will update you in high school football. Valley View leads North Pocono 12-7 in the fourth. It is Honesdale being shut out by West Scranton 40 to nothing in the fourth quarter. Scranton prep 30 to nothing over Western Wayne fourth quarter. Final score: Dunmore 47, Mid Valley three. Tim's to throw, looking downfield, incomplete. Riverside, a big win over Holy Cross. This is a final 42 to 8. Those are some updates in high school football. And Anthony, I think you ended up with a text coming in. 41 Anthony, 22. Anthony, bring a quart of milk and a loaf of bread home. And a pizza. <laughs> 41 22, your score. If you're just tuning in, it is Carbondale leading Montrose with 327 to play in the fourth quarter. As Maverick Timms will face second down and 10 from the Charger 41. Timms will roll out, and Timms eludes a tackler. Good job. Timms will turn it upfield. He's got the first down and much more before he is drilled on the far Timms side of the field. Immediate pressure that scampers for a first down. Forced out of bounds by Nick Medella. Hell, a good job that time by Maverick Timms and the Montrose offense. You know, 20 yard run. Again, yeah. grabbed on the, uh, for a, a, a high tackle and bro broke away. Tim's with the football, handing off. And they go along the far side Mondy back in the game with, with the Colin Mondy, 6'3", 215-pound senior. Montrose trying to punch this football into the end zone. Under three minutes to play in the fourth quarter as the Meteors trail 41 to 22. And Montrose will talk it over in the huddle. So Carbondale will win this football game as the clock continues to run as we near two minutes left. As Tims will drop back with a flag on the play. And the officials will talk things over. Carbondale will set its sights on Dunmore coming up next week. That is going to be a very big task for the Chargers as that Dunmore football team is rolling, playing its best football of the season. They will take on the Bucks next week here in the Pioneer City. Montrose will travel to Lakeland. We'll have all of the action for 
for you with that game from Lakeland with a 6.45 pregame here on Adams Cable High School Football. Second down and 12 for Montrose with under two minutes left. And Timms drops back, looks in the end zone and off the fingertips of R.J. Arnold. If you keep running, he would have had him. Yeah, R.J. was yeah. open in that end zone, just could not haul it in. Pretty good target at six foot and 170 pounds. Third down yeah, and right. 12. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, he yeah. probably still should have had that ball. That was it. Wasn't a bad pass. It was. It hit his hands. I mean, easier said than done, I guess, on a cold day, cold night. Here is Montrose looking down the barrel of third down and twelve from the Charger 19, and they will hand off the football to Monday, and Monday fighting for yardage and is stacked up by three or four Chargers on the play. Good pursuit by Carbondale that time. Steve Martin led the way with the defensive pressure. Colin Mondi on the carry, bringing up a fourth and six or seven. Mondi was tackled Now there's a timeout on the field, guys, and uh, week eight of high school football, Friday night anyway, just about in the books around the entire area. Games tomorrow. Of course, uh, Lakeland and Old Forge will play on Saturday evening. It's been a while since uh, we've had three games on a, on <laughs> on a Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. You know. Boy, Nick, you think back uh, to days gone by when uh, you used to have a lot of Saturday games. Yeah. There were very few places that had lights. and uh, Lakeland used to play their games on Saturday. Carbondale here had their games on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Montrose played on Saturdays for quite some time. They sure did. Black and uh, Trail played on Saturdays for a lot of times. Yeah, now it's odd if you have a Saturday game, really, when you think about it. You know, it. like the schools like Abington Heights and Susquehanna, I mean. Right. And Holy Cross, really, they're the only three, I think. I do miss a Saturday game in the fall because if you go to a place like Lakeland, you, you have that scenic view from the uh, press box as Mondi takes the handoff. Fighting for first down yardage on fourth down and six and a penalty marker on the play. Well, late penalty. Some, some, uh, something in that in that uh, scrum down there happened late in that. Nick, there was something special about a Saturday game at Lakeland in mid-October when the leaves were in full bloom and uh, or late October when you got that nice day on the kickoff. And then midway through the third quarter, you got the snowstorm. The squall came through, and then as quick as the squall came through, <laughs> the sun came back out. Yeah. There's something special about that. It's, it's a time gone by, I guess. Yeah. It's really. Wait, there was that personal foul against Carbondale? I don't know. Let's check and see where the officials are going to spot the football. Oh. No well, players from Carbondale getting ready to uh, line up. The football is inside the five-yard line. Three kneel downs here. I think that's it. Was oh, Carbondale has the ball? With the I, I, that's what I'm saying. I didn't. I thought he got the first down. I thought that was a dead ball foul. Uh, Carbondale will have the football as Tallarico really sure. will run the offense with 129 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Are you serious? Uh, wow. How can you call a timeout? Oh, my goodness. Easy, Nick. Easy, yeah. buddy. Well, I mean, Easy. that's just... I mean, this. Yeah. It's 41-22 for those of you tuned into the radio broadcast with a minute 29 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Well, uh, Steve, while we have a time here, yeah, run down I, some, I uh, have the leading un un unofficially unofficially, let's see. I have uh, Jason Jablonowski, 15 carries for 188 yards. Good night. Uh, Dominic Gelati, 13 carries for Better 92. 
<laughs> and here's Nick Vidella with the football. And Nick Vidella up across midfield and then caught on the play by the Montrose defense. From the from what, the five? From the five. And Castlebury came up to make the tackle. 54 for Nick Vidella. How many first downs did Carbondale have? Well, that makes 24. So a big night running the football for the Chargers. They're going to need that type of performance against uh, the Dunmore Bucks next week. And with one minute left, Carbondale will approach the line of scrimmage. And now the victory formation as Tallarico will take a knee and the countdown will begin. One more kneel down should do it. That should do it as Carbondale with a 41 to 22 lead. We'll, one more time, they'll take a knee and get this in the record books. For the Montrose Meteors, their record overall will fall to one and seven. They are now one and six in Division Three play. Coming up next week, they will be on the road and take on Lakeland. We'll have that ball game for you at 6.45 next week from Chapman Lake. And for Carbondale, they improved their overall mark to three wins and five losses. They are now two and five in Division Three. They have won two in a row. Good luck to the Chargers in their next two games here at home against Dunmore and then in week 10 on the road at Riverside as they win this football game 41 to 22. Nick, your final comments. Well, Carbondale's two two wins in a row after losing five in a row. So that's a way to write the ship. I that's mean, a good way to go into a game against you know, Dunmore. They've seen to find something on offense with that three-headed monster. Uh, I'll call it a three-headed monster mm. with the three running backs between Gelati, a healthy Gelati, uh, Orms, and Javlinowski, a healthy Javlinowski as well. Glenn? Carbondale uh, picks up the win here tonight. They'll go into the Dunmore game uh, a lot more confident. And uh, if they play well, if you don't win against Dunmore, but you play well, yeah. that's that's good. That will you know, set things up for next year and make you feel a little bit better. I, exactly. I was just going to say that, Steve. Uh, uh, we talked to, uh, to Coach Gabriel before, before the game. He says, yeah, they're going to try to play some, some, some kids if they could. And, now, and, and, they, and they got a little uh, rude awakening from, from Montrose in that, in that first quarter when they took the ball for seven minutes and 58 seconds and scored. And then Carbondale comes back very, very well. They did a nice job coming back, and they scored. But then again, Montrose scores with, uh, from one play. They go 77 yards. So... Carbondale weathered the storm, and in the second quarter, it was all Chargers, and they went into the locker room up, uh, I believe it was, what, 15? Was it 15 points? or uh, Anyway. 28-15 um, at yeah, halftime. Yeah, all right, so 13 points. And they came out, and they, and they moved the ball, scored early, and that set the tempo. So, yeah, yeah they, they played well. Uh, I, I, I'm a little I, – I feel – and I watched them tackle. I, they are tackling up high. Guys are breaking tackles. Nobody's hitting anybody low. You can't, you, you can't do that against good runners. You'll get crucified by doing that. But, again, they, they, they did a nice job overall defensively and but more impressively offensively uh, against a, a team that, that could have broken one at any given time. So they, they went two in a row but they got a tough one coming. Big thanks to Eric Larson, athletic director here at Carbondale, the Carbondale maintenance staff. It's been great coming here all season, and uh, the, the school district and everyone here has been so good to us. So thank you very much, Eric, and everyone here at the Andrew J. Sarah Sports Complex. Your final score once again is the Chargers defeat Montrose 41-22. to Are you ready? Welcome to Adams Cable High School Football. Today from Carbondale, it's the Montrose Meteors versus the Carbondale Area Chargers in a Lackawanna Football Conference Division III matchup brought to you by Adams Cable Service, Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, Nick's Excavating and Paving, 
Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street. Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center. McGovern Insurance Agency. Tonkin Auto Supply, your Napa Auto Parts Store. NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield. By the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Dominic's Pizza. Tom's Floor Shop, Main Street Childs. And the starting lineups for today's game are presented by Roselle Department Store in Carbondale.